but we begin tonight with an exclusive guest who is head of what's really become an American phenomenon and an American empire. Tamara Lowe and her husband Peter have been producing the Get Motivated Business Seminars for more than 25 years. These are huge events. The Lowe's travel the country with a rotating roster of A-list star speakers, including athletes and entertainers and politicians. They typically take out full-page ads like this one in, in local newspapers ahead of their events. The events are typically so large, they take place in arenas attended by any Anywhere between 10,000 and 50,000 people for a single event. In fact, so many people attend these seminars that some local news outlets warn of uh, and, and later report on massive traffic jams caused simply by the seminar being in a city for a specific day. Get Motivated is a major organization. Millions of Americans have taken part in their seminars. Here's a little bit of how they build themselves. For over two decades, Peter and Tamara Lowe have produced the most popular business seminars in the world. Peter and Tamara Lowe had a vision to do something that had never been done before. When the circumstances of life conspire to discourage you, when the challenges seem overwhelming and the obstacles insurmountable, when your critics write you off as finished, your personal motivation is the burning fire that will transform your circumstances and change your life. Today, you have the power to discover a new future and the opportunity to determine your destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peter and Tamara Lowe's internationally acclaimed Get Motivated Business Seminar. The Get Motivated Business Seminar now features George W. Bush. He will be speaking at their event on Monday in Fort Worth, Texas, along with, among others, as you can see here, the motivational speaker Zig Ziglar, uh, former NFL quarterback Terry Bradshaw, and our next guest, Tamara Lowe, Executive Vice President of Get Motivated Seminars Incorporated. Ms. Lowe, you are a busy and in-demand person. I really appreciate your taking time to join us tonight. Thank you, Rachel. Great to be with you. What do you expect President Bush will be speaking about? Do you expect that it will be a political speech? Usually the former presidents who speak for us, and President Bush will be our sixth former U.S. president to speak at the Get Motivated Seminar. Typically they will share their experiences of their time in office and the things that they learned, the challenges that they faced. I know that um, your website lists the other speakers who are going to be featured at this event along with Mr. Bush on Monday, and it's a pretty star-studded group. You're going to be speaking there, obviously. Also, former Secretary of State Colin Powell, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, uh, Zig Ziglar, Terry Bradshaw, as I mentioned. Are there other people who will be addressing the seminar who aren't on that masthead, who aren't listed elsewhere on the webpage? Do you put out a full list of everybody who's going to address the group? Um, we generally feature in our advertising the people that folks would know by name, the name recognized speakers. Those are the ones that we generally advertise, but we do also have a few business trainers that will be speaking on communication and leadership, time management, organization, that kind of thing. The reason I asked you that is because um, something sort of unexpected happened when we talked about Get Motivated on the show last night, and we talked about it because of the George W. Bush booking. And to my surprise, after we talked about Get Motivated, we got a raft of unsolicited emails uh, from viewers of this show, people who said they had attended Get Motivated seminars. And we, again, we didn't ask for this at all, but there was um, a striking consistency uh, in what people told us, what these viewers told us they had experienced at your events. And they told us that they had experienced Get Motivated as a, essentially as a money-making event. Um, and so I, I don't, it's not billed that way, and they're very cheap to attend, but I wanted to ask you to address that perception, that this is, a, this is an event at which people will be expected to sign up for other things that will cost them a lot of money. No, that's not the case at all. I mean, we do have other seminars that we offer for people who want to continue their education if they want to learn about various things like how to start a business or how to invest their own money, things like that. But it's certainly not required. Uh, it's simply offered as a service for people who would like that. That, that perception, because it is um, widespread, and I take your point that it's not, that's not meant to be the, the, the overall purpose of Get Motivated, um, 
it, th that is what makes it surprising, I think, that you've had so many former presidents. I'll just tell you, like somebody who, who went to your Hershey, Pennsylvania event just yesterday wrote to us and said the event seemed to have sales pitches disguised as motivational speeches interspersed with other motivational talks. A person who went to your Moline, Illinois event on July 16th said um, one speaker told people how they can make a fortune in the stock market in only 15 minutes a week if they buy his materials and take his training. Um, somebody else at, the Den at a recent Denver event said that the, the, the event was stopped while people were encouraged to go to the rear of the arena and sign up for seminars on, on getting rich. So I understand that it's motivational, but I, it se does seem like you must have to raise a lot of money at these events in order to pay the big speaking fees for people like Colin Powell <laughs> and President Bush. No, typically at a Get Motivated seminar, we'll feature anywhere from 10 to 15 different speakers, and of all of them, there will maybe be two or three who might talk about something else that our participants can do if they want to continue their education. Do, do you collect personal information from the people who attend your events, like email addresses and phone numbers? Do you, do you, do you organize among the people who you get to come out to these events? We, we do get the information from our attendees in order to send them tickets, sure, yeah. Well, I ask again because somebody who attended a Portland, Oregon event says that uh, for months after he filled out a registration form to get his ticket to the event, he got lots and lots and lots of phone calls from the, what he called the Get Motivated Operation trying to convince him to buy various products. Do you guys have a, a practice mm. of, sh do, do you share your, your, your the information no. that you got from your ticket holders with vendors? You don't at all? No, we don't. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, are the Get Motivated seminars religious in nature? No, they're not. They're business seminars, and we talk about a lot of different skills for success. We talk about leadership, time management, organization, relationships. We talk about health and fitness. Now, we don't censor our speakers. We don't say, hey, if, if you think spirituality is an important part of your life, we're not going to ask you don't say anything about that. So we just really present the skills that you need for balanced success, and spirituality for a lot of people is part of that. Uh, are members of the military um, one of the groups that you reach out to to get to attend this event? The we have like a this? lot of. Sorry. We have a lot of military people who attend the event, but our audiences are really a broad demographic of society. Basically, every political view, every religious background, people from every occupation, from business to sales to education, um, medical careers, really housewives, students, everybody. I, I ask about the military specifically because of, again, an un unsolicited letter of concern that we received. A member of the military uh, wrote to us and said that, um, especially, specifically talking about your motivational speech at an event that she went to in California, and I'm just going to mm -hmm. quote from the letter we received. It was heavy into religion. She informed us that we can't be happy or healthy without Jesus. I was trapped there for roughly half an hour of preaching. I was mortified that I had been tricked into attending essentially a religious service and appalled that the military had unwillingly, unwittingly sanctioned the event for me and hundreds of others. I secured the web page. I scoured the web page that evening, wondering if my surprise was from lack of research. I found no mention of religion at all, which seems as subversive as promoting this to the military as a leadership forum by not mentioning faith-based or some other code word on the site. I assume their purpose is to grab an unsuspecting audience for religious indoctrination. I, because of that, this was a member of the military who's, milita who, who's Jewish, who was upset about having felt like they were part of an evangelical event. Is there, is there diversity of, of, of faith-based views that are, that are portrayed, or is it or is I know that you're saying that it's not a religious event, but is there diversity among the speakers in faith? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We have featured all kinds of people on our program, everybody from Rabbi Harold Kushner to um, really people from every kind of religious persuasion. Susie Orman, um, who is Jewish but also has Eastern beliefs, and um, Mormons and Hindus, and you name it, have appeared at our events. We, we don't just... Uh, feature people from one persuasion. That's the great thing about the Get Motivated seminars is it really features people who are at the apex of success from every from every field, from every viewpoint, from every worldview. Tamara Lowe, co-founder and executive vice president of Get Motivated Seminars. Uh, I'm sure this isn't a comfortable interview for you, in a comfortable setting. I know that it was a big deal for you to join us tonight. I really am thankful no, for your No, not at all. I'm very comfortable and very happy to be on your show. Big fan. Very good. Thanks very much. It's nice to meet you.
Thank you.